LiveKit now supports a new AI avatar provider called Anim. I'm going to show you a demo and how to build a custom LiveKit Anim avatar. I'll share all the code in this video's description and we'll go through it. But first, let's look at Anim, the new up and comer. This is some of their landing page demos and pretty clean. You can see they have kind of some Nordic font rune dial they're going for. One thing I noticed, they say hundreds more here, but I only saw less than maybe 50 in their dashboard, but they're really new, so it's probably on the way. It looks pretty polished, at least from the outside. Let's take a look at their about. I noticed that yeah, here we got their founders are from Synthesia, which is a text-to-video AI tech company. So that's pretty cool. They saw the opportunity to create conversational uh, avatars, and it looks like they're pulling it off, actually. Jump into the API. It's nice that they provide this nice little diagram, but it's pretty basic what you'd expect. And now for the pricing. I'm not a huge fan of the pricing because I think players like Hedra have really made it like competitive and affordable with their pricing. But that being said, if you know Anim has what you're after, then by all means, go for it. So let's jump into their dashboard. So when you sign in, you'll come to something like this and here's the different avatars I was talking about. They said hundreds, but yeah, it's just um, this. A lot of repeats with just different backgrounds, which is cool, like not knocking it at all. I'm sure they have hundreds on the way, but it, it is nice to have um, the different background options. But all right, let's see this in, in real time with LiveKit, making your own custom anim avatar. Like usual, we'll jump into my LiveKit meet here. I already have the agent running, so yeah, let's just try it out. Hello there. How's it going? Hey, what's your name? My name is Mia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mia. How's it going? It's going great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I'm just kind of stuck on what I should decide for lunch. Ah, the classic lunch dilemma. Are you in the mood for something light or something a bit more filling? Uh, just, just tell me what I should have. All right, let's go with a balanced option. How about a nice grilled chicken salad, or maybe a hearty sandwich with some veggies on the side? Something that's satisfying, but not too heavy. Mmm, both those sound really good, thanks. See ya. Okay, so, um, just exit out of here. So that was, yeah, that was it. That was Anim, uh, Anim's avatar. I thought it was really good, really clean, the lifelike you know, kind of body movement, head movements seemed really realistic. The lip sync was pretty good. The only thing was some of the audio was clipping there. I'm not sure what, what that was, what was going on there. I'm not sure if that's an Anim thing, a open AI thing or, or a live kit thing, or maybe it's just my local setup. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to test that, but anyways, yeah, that was it. So that was, that was pretty cool. And it was actually really easy to set up. Live kit has a plugin for it. And if we go to the code here, all you need to do is in your requirements, just add this anim here and then add these environment variables. You get the API key from that dashboard we were just in, anim's dashboard. And then for the avatar ID here, we'll just I'll just show you. You just jump into here and you choose which one you wanna choose. Like if we kept this, this Alistair here, we'd copy the avatar ID right there. And we would put it in, into our environment variables. And then the code itself, very, very simple, clean. LiveKit does a great job at these code examples. It's, look at this, less than, no, 62 lines of code. That's so easy. Yeah, and so you see we have Anim that we bring in right there. And then we're using this OpenAI real-time model. You can use any text-to-speech real-time setup you want that LiveKit has. I just went with 
what they had out of the box here, change the change the voice. Bring in your environment variables that we set that I just showed you. I add a couple of things like the participant name and the request function, calling the agent, and that's just for in the live kit me app demo that I that I showed you how you have that that custom button to to summon the the avatar. Yeah, so that's it. If you thought this was useful, go ahead and drop a like or a comment. And if you want to join some AI builders building this kind of stuff, go ahead and join my Discord and we can chat it up there. So, all right, cool. See ya.